So I used to blow through my Claude sessions way too quickly, like it's lunchtime and already I'm locked out, done for the afternoon. But then I changed one small thing in how I approach Claude and it honestly doubled my productivity. Let me show you exactly how it works. Real quick, I'm Daniel. I've been doing this iOS thing for almost eight years now, mostly freelance gigs, shipping apps for other folks. But ever since Dub Dub 25, I jumped into full-time solo dev life, started building in public and yeah, kind of figuring out this whole personal brand thing as I go. More on that later. All right, let me actually explain how this stuff really works because it's way different from what you get with most other AI tools. You might be used to those simple quotas, like here's 100 messages this week, use them however you want. But Claude, Claude's on a whole different system. So first thing, instead of a basic message counter, Claude runs on what they call a session-based system. What does that mean for us? Basically, as soon as you send your first message, could be anything, even just a hi, you've officially started a session. And that session is a solid five hour block, no matter how many messages you actually send during that time. Now the session clock doesn't care if you're in full coding beast mode, or if you just wanted to uh, check a quick API detail before heading to lunch. As soon as that first message goes out, you've got a five hour window. And every plan free pro max comes with a different cap on how many messages you can use during that session. So if you're on pro, you get around 45 messages for that five hour stretch. If you're on max, it's more 225 per session. But here's the real kicker. Once you hit either the message limit or the end of those five hours, your session is done you can't keep going until that timer resets. It's like AI Pomodoro, whether you wanted it or not. I know what you're thinking. Okay, so what happens when those five hours are up? Well, the slate is wiped clean, your session ends, your usage resets, and you're ready to start a new session just by sending another message. There's no waiting period or complicated rules. It's just about being aware of when that window opens and closes. And honestly, once you get this system, you can start planning around it. If you batch your deep work, you'll actually make those sessions work for you instead of always feeling like you hit a wall at the worst possible time. The main thing is, uh, as a solo dev, these sessions kind of force you to be strategic. If you're deliberate about when you start that session clock, you can avoid burning through your limits on throwaway questions or random context switching. It's all about timing and just being a little more intentional than you might be with something like ChatGPT. So yeah, Claude's not just counting messages, it's running a timer behind the scenes. And the better you understand that, the more you can get out of it, especially if you're trying to stretch your subscription or get the most out of those deep focus coding sprints. Let me paint you a picture of uh, how most solo dev days unfold. And honestly, how mine used to go down too. Morning hits, you're up around eight-ish. Maybe you grab breakfast, sneak in some meditation or squeeze in a quick run. Then life kicks in, emails flood your inbox, meetings start pinging your calendar, or you're hustling the kids out the door. By the time you actually have a real block of time, it's like 1 p.m. or later. So you open Claude, ready to finally focus. You dive into three or four projects at once, feeling great until suddenly it's around three or 4 p.m. And Claude gives you that dreaded session limit message. Now you're stuck waiting until 6 p.m. to get a fresh session. But let's be real, around that time, you're probably picking up groceries, making dinner, or spending time with family. And if you want another productive run with Claude, it's got to wait until 9 p.m. or later. And honestly, by then, maybe you're just tired or chilling with Disney Plus. Sound familiar? But here's the real deal, the mistake most of us make. We wait until we're 100% ready to start coding before opening Claude. It makes sense. Why waste a session, right? But here's the thing, by the time you feel fully ready, the day is half over. 
you open Claude, you're super motivated tackling those tricky problems and then bam, session limit. It almost feels unfair, like Claude's punishing you for being productive, but it's not you, it's just timing. The truth is most devs, me included for way too long, never realize Claude's session timer actually rewards early starters. See, sessions aren't designed around your productivity spikes. They're just running timers. So if you wait until your afternoon to dive in, you lose flexibility. Claude cuts you off right when you're finally warmed up. The fix? Stop waiting until you're perfectly ready to code. Start sessions earlier. Trust me, it sounds weird, but it works. All right, so here's what I do now, and it makes a world of difference. I just start my Claude session early before I'm even thinking about writing code. I'll open Claude right after breakfast, maybe while I'm jotting down ideas, reviewing my to-dos, or even writing up a quick spec in Notion. I'm not solving bugs or building features yet. I'm just setting the table for the day. Think of it like a warm-up session. I ask Claude to help me organize my task list, review my roadmap, or give me a second opinion on some documentation. Sometimes I'll throw in a couple of uh, how should I approach this refactor questions or get it to sanity, check my plan for a new feature. Here's the magic. By spreading out the admin work in the morning, I don't burn my one precious Claude session on deep work right away. I use that first session for all the planning brainstorming and setup stuff I need to do anyway. And since it's running alongside all the chaos of a normal morning, coffee, emails, maybe a quick walk, it doesn't feel like I'm wasting any of my prime brain power. Then when it's finally time to sit down and code, usually early afternoon, I get a fresh session and I can use every minute of it for focused building. No more getting cut off right when things get interesting. It's basically like giving yourself two solid runs with Claude every day instead of just one. Prep in the morning, deep work in the afternoon. I end up getting twice as much value and the whole workflow just feels smoother. Honestly, once you try it, you won't go back. So yeah, don't wait until you're ready to code to start your Claude session. Kick it off early. Use that time to get your head straight and save your prime session for when you're really building. Trust me, your solo dev days will get a whole lot easier. So yeah, splitting sessions into two separate blocks totally changed my dev days. Instead of feeling rushed, frustrated, or getting cut off mid-flow, my days feel organized and intentional. Mornings become a gentle ramp up, planning, task lists, admin stuff, docs, afternoons, pure, uninterrupted coding. And it's funny, you don't realize how much momentum you lose by waiting until afternoon and hitting that session wall. Once you split your time, everything just clicks into place. You feel less pressure, less rushed, and honestly, way more productive. If you haven't tried splitting your Claude sessions yet, do yourself a favor, give it a go. Trust me, your indie dev days will feel smoother than ever. So that's how I've learned to use Claude session limits to my advantage. It's not about gaming the system or chasing session counts. It's just about working with the natural rhythm of your day, making life a bit less stressful and a lot more productive. But hey, what about you? Have you figured out your own ways to stretch Claude sessions? Or maybe you've got a horror story about hitting limits at the worst possible time? Drop it in the comments. I love hearing uh, how other solo devs are handling this stuff. And if anything I shared helped you out or just made your dev day a little less chaotic, hit like, consider subscribing, or even better, share it with a friend who's also juggling code, life, and AI limits. Until next time, keep building cool stuff, keep learning, and never let a session timer stop you from doing what you love. Catch you in the next one. Peace.